Hi, creeps. My name is Scara, damsel of the doomed, and welcome to my tub of terror. Tonight, I will be revealing five behind-the-scenes facts about the 2021 horror heist movie, Army of the Dead. And I'll do so rather quickly, because these bubbles won't last forever. That's right, you heard me correctly. I'm actually discussing a new horror movie. I'm still going to discuss the movies from the uh, 80s is what we're up to next, but I wanted to now start mixing in new horror movies as well. And don't worry, there will be no spoilers, just behind the scenes facts. Army of the Dead was directed by Zack Snyder and co-written by Zack Snyder and Shay Hatton. Now, Zack Snyder made his directorial film debut in 2004 with his remake of uh, Dawn of the Dead. I think this guy was in that movie. Anyway, he has a lot of other movies that he's really well known for. They're all those uh, comic book movies. I really don't know anything about them. So I'm just gonna have the editor list those right here. The basic storyline goes as follows. Army of the Dead follows a group of mercenaries who are tasked with going to Las Vegas and stealing $200 million that is hidden under the Las Vegas Strip. The catch is the city is overrun by zombies and the government is ready to nuke the entire city within 32 hours to get rid of them all. Basically, it's Ocean's Eleven, but make it zombies. And now, five behind the scenes facts about the movie Army of the Dead. Starting with fact number one, they used practical effects to make a zombie horse in this movie. If you've seen the trailer for Army of the Dead, you're well aware that there is a zombie tiger in this film. But there's also a zombie horse and it's apparently all the rage. Artist Dave Bautista made a nylon suit that an actual horse wears in the movie. They put the suit on the horse and then they applied things to it to make it look like a zombie. He did the same thing 20 years ago in Cremaster 3, but back then he used a rubber suit. And apparently this nylon suit is bad ass. Fact number two, there's two types of zombies in this film, the alphas and the shamblers. Now the alphas are fast and they're intelligent. What happened was there was the main alpha, the big daddy zombie. He escaped from Area 51. Is he an alien? Is he a zombie? Is he some kind of hybrid? I don't know, you gotta watch the movie. But he escapes Area 51 and he bites someone. When the main alpha bites someone, that person becomes an alpha zombie. So he bites a few more people and they're alphas. Now when the alphas, bite someone, oops, I lost one. When the alphas bite someone, they become a shambler. And the shamblers are basically your, you know, typical run of the mill, dumb, dumb zombies. I'm not naming any names, but we've seen a lot of them in most of the horror movies uh, up to date. It's okay. I think I'm kind of dumb. So alphas, shamblers. Fact number three, the movie has an underlying political message. It looks at what would happen to the disenfranchised if there were a zombie outbreak. It kind of examines uh, what would happen if the government released a zombie plague just to take away certain rights from the people. Now, don't get it twisted. This movie was written well over 10 years ago way before the COVID-19 pandemic, so there is no connection there. But I know how you conspiracy theorists work. You're gonna make this into something, aren't you? It's gonna be a whole thing. You're gonna act like it's a connection, like it's some kind of hidden sign. Maybe it's QAnon, I don't know. Trust me, it's not. Put your mask on. Fact number four, comedian Chris D'Elia was originally cast as a lead role in this film, and he filmed all of his scenes to completion. But then in June 2020, a bunch of women came out and said, Chris D'Elia did some real creepy shit. They accused him of sexual misconduct. So producers of the film and the director as well made the decision to 
cut Chris out of the film completely. They replaced him with comedian Tig Notaro. She had to do her scenes in front of a green screen with an acting partner. Hopefully all of that turns out okay. Fact number five. This movie took over 10 years to come to fruition. Basically, it was announced in 2007. A script had been written, Universal and Warner Brothers scooped up the rights, but then they sat it in developmental hell for a number of years until 2019 when Netflix swooped in and picked it up. They also picked up director Zack Snyder at that time. He read the script and he really wanted to make the script his own. So they had to wait longer. They hired uh, writer Shea Hatton to co-write Zack Snyder's version of the script took a little bit and then finally they started making the movie which is now going to be available in May of 2021. Final thoughts. All signs point to Army of the Dead not being a traditional zombie film. It seems to be an amalgam of a heist film and a zombie film and it features smart zombies, a complicated father-daughter relationship, and a political message. Army of the Dead comes out May 14th on Netflix. Well, it looks like I'm almost out of bubbles, so I better wrap this up. In the comments, let me know what new horror movie you're most excited to see. Until next week, my name is Scara, Damsel of the Doomed, and I'll see you in your screens.